Coach, for my money, it's the best time of the year. Playoff football time as postseason action descends upon FedEx Field just outside of D.C. Today we continue on in Wild Card Weekend with a great NFC matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Washington Redskins. Win or go home is the mantra, and off we go. We're underway in this NFC Wild Card game. Love, the former Stanford Cardinal. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. They'll run again with Love on first down. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Let's get off the field, Let's get off the field. From just shy of midfield, Haskins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of ten. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. Now Haskins, third and long. And the pressure gets to him again. Khalil Mack picks up his second sack of the afternoon. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. So it sails out of bounds close to midfield, and they'll say actually right at midfield. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. Now it's Trubisky. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. But one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Here's Trubisky to throw. That is caught by Cohen. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to bring out the third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. 
I had a coach tell me a long time ago that running a screen pass is similar to acting 101 for your offense because you've got to show something different and create extra space for linemen to chase the quarterback in order to create extra room for the receiver to catch the football and maneuver upfield. In this case, they'll give a lot of credit to the defense. They communicated well. You could hear them talking to each other on the field, and they reacted and knocked it away. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They've been a come-from-behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. They'll start the drive with Love here. And he's got some space here. That good for 22 and a first down. Got to give a nod of a... Appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the back side that didn't allow any leakage and any, anybody could run him down from the nah, back side. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good yeah. back side guys. Man. That's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice sizable game. Give the Redskins 13 there and a first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. A nice burst there as he'll get about seven that time on the first down run. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far working pretty well from them and here's the best part we always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on i think he likes natural light best the throw by haskins complete to mclaurin touchdown washington terry mclaurin 33 yards and the redskins have taken the lead and a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move, and when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. This will be taken short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it out past the 30. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Troy Apke, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. On first down, here's Love. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second down six at the 42-yard line. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On second down, here's Haskins. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. 
And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. 58, right over there. Right over there. Now Haskins on first down. He'll get this to his speedster, Paul Richardson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. On the draw, this is Love. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Oh, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. This is love. And an alley to run. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. 23-yard run, and the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball, too, right? Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. And it's Reuben Foster in on the tackle. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. On third down, Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Trubisky. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Dominique Rogers cromartie And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. A reminder coming up at the half as we've done all year. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown on what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin on the road to Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Haskins and the offense with a first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. Here's Love. 
He'll have a first down. The ball comes out, and this is picked up by the Bears. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. First down, a run with Cohen. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Trubisky gives to Cohen. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. They go play action with Trubisky. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ryan Kerrigan coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. To punt it away on fourth down, here's Drew Kayser. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows the punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, what's the plan of attack here? Very late second quarter, and look where the ball is. Yeah, a bad spot for you, but the defense has all three timeouts, so what you're telling your team is ball security number one, it's not all on the running backs if you decide to run the football. That offensive line has got to protect them and wedge out some space because you can't just kneel. They take three timeouts. They're going to get the ball back in good field position with a chance to put points on the board. You've got to try and get a first down and run out this first half. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. 20, 10, touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin. As the first half is winding down, and the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears' offense ready to go for their next drive. Now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Perry just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Back to throw, Daniel. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A final shot before the break, Daniel. And that will be incomplete. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. 
One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wild card bout. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something under pressure, and down goes Daniel. Ryan Kerrigan able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. They'll run on second down with Cohen. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Off the play fake. Here's Trubisky. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Landon Collins. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up. First and goal at the five. And that pick just sets him up beautifully right down near the goal line. I remember being in a defensive meeting back when I was in college, and our defensive coordinator says, we're going to call this be-who-you-are defense. D-linemen, you play the run. Linebackers, be aware of anything. And secondary, you play the pass. That way, you're all set, ready for whatever they put out there. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run with love. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Bryce Love, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Redskins capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And it's no good. No, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere, and so far... Just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A good pickup. 17 yards and a bare first down. First down. They run again. Here's Montgomery. 
And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. On second and 11 now, Trubisky gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. Now it's Trubisky. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Perry picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Looks like another empty possession here, partner, and I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. they got to find some answers quickly. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Staying on the ground, it's Love. Good move, but not much to show for it. Still inside the five. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Now Haskins down around his goal line. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That's good for 28 yards. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Love again. Three yards on the pickup there, and they've got it back to third and ten. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Third down, here's Haskins, escaping the pressure right. He finds Coleman. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. The strategy would tell you, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now Haskins to throw on second down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. 
A gain of five, good enough for the first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 41, Haskins. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 31-yard line. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. A run on first down, but it's not going to get them much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. And now time will be called here as we've got an injured Redskin down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Still it's Washington, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Check three, check three, check three. To throw on third down. Haskins flushed out right. It's caught by Coleman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 19. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. From the gun, it's a give to Peterson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Akeem Hicks that time on the tackle. Again, Peterson. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. the gun. Haskins on third down. And this one complete to Reed. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go, baby. Let's go. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. 
I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Kill, kill, kill. Hey, 18, 18, 18. Alert, 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 alert. Nope. Now Trubisky to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And it's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing here, Trubisky. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Here's Drew Kayser now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. But he will not make the first down marker. And that'll be a turnover on downs. Haskins going to try to throw it. Flush to his... And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And losing in this wild card round, you know, they've got something to build on, though, for next year. But I don't know if they want to hear that right now. Maybe not at the moment, but once they get away from it a little bit and they get into their offseason program, and they'll start to talk about that. And I like how you framed it, building blocks, you know, building this program up. And one of my favorite coaches always talks about brick by brick, you build a program. And this is one of those bricks to build them towards the next season where they think they have a chance to advance farther in the playoffs. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Redskins as we say so long from FedEx Field.